What is going on, my lovely collective? Welcome back. This will be the weekend read. Okay, we'll cover today, Saturday, November 6th, and tomorrow, Sunday, November 7th, 2021. General messages, guys. Take us for you, leave rest behind at any event. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. That's that free shit. Helps build our channel. Get the messages to those who need it. And if you like, well, bitch, I got money. Go on, donate a little bit, you know, book a service. That's listed below in the detailed description box. You know, I'm here for it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But, um, yeah, guys, we're going to jump right into this. Um, what I'm feeling for the weekend is <sighs> I heard speak softly but carry a loud stick. And that's like one of my favorite type of like, uh, what do you call it? Like a proverb or whatever. Or it's like walk softly, carry a loud, uh, a, loud, a loud stick or some shit like that. But um, ideally, it's just the energy I was feeling was that um, I felt a lot of trying energy. Like a lot of people trying you. Um, I don't know. Like, I feel like you may feel like you want to lose your shit, but don't. Okay. Um, just I know that you... You're where you need to be. Know that, like, if you've been good, you've been happy, you've been by the high, don't let anyone bring you down to their level. Um, they're just mad. Seriously. And, like, right now, people um, who can't find, you know, gratitude in themselves or who can't make the changes necessary in their own life, like, people who are refusing to elevate, to grow, they don't want to see you do that. So they're going to try to put you back at their level because they can't reach your level. So... Do not change whatever people have to say to you or say about you. Let that shit roll off. Like, you don't have anything to prove to anybody. Like, you know who you are. And they're only doing this because they don't know who they are or they're upset that people see you for who you truly are. And they could be trying to tarnish your image, you know, def defame your character, things of that nature. So we're going to pull. And actually how I'm going to do this is we're going to get two cards, one for Saturday, one for Sunday. And then we'll just pull hella messages for each moonology and then we'll close out with enough lesson cards on each message and then we will get inner peace as a whole for the weekend at the very end so divine holy spirit ancestor spirit guys guardian angels what do we have for the collective for saturday oh yes bring love into the situation new moon in aquarius underneath the deck we have nothing of the situation uh, sorry yeah nothing will come out of this situation void of course moon we're going to take those two. I don't know why I feel that way. But yeah, bring love into the situation because whatever somebody's trying to do, nothing's going to come out of it. It's not going to work, okay? Because you know who you are. You're healing star energy with that Aquarius, right? You're doing a lot of healing. You're onto new cycles, onto a new you, okay? You're thankful for life. You're just trying to live. And I mean, if you don't know, and I'm telling you now, the reason why, you know, what the, what is it? Um... Robbers don't come and break into homes if they ain't nothing tre like treasure or like values there. So you're very valuable. You have a treasure within yourself. And people want to come and steal it, okay? Um, the devil don't work, you know, if shit going bad. I mean, your shit going good. So, of course, you know, Satan going to try it. So whatever. Know that you are a child of God. Know that you're within your prayer. Know that you're protected, okay? Know that you're doing what's best and what's right for you, okay? Like you're healing. You're putting in the work. So don't let... As the trains go off, <laughs> don't let anybody, you know, come and tr mess up the progress you have done within yourself, okay? Yeah, then it's your dreams need a practical plan, full moon, and Taurus, okay? And Taurus is all about that money, building, finances, okay? Opposite of Scorpio. Very fixed on what it is that you want to do, all right? Underneath the deck, yeah, meditate and contemplate new moon and Pisces. Following your dreams and aspirations. Write that shit down. Take the time on Sunday to really rest, rejuvenate. Write down what it is that you want to do, especially for your week. You know, get your plans in order so that way you're not mumble jumble, okay? And underneath the deck, all the way around, we have luck is on your side, new moon and sad any travel plans anything that you're trying to do or start up um new adventures go on do it you know make that plan do what you need to do worry about you like overall that's what i'm getting this weekend it's like if you have plans or you're trying to make moves like there will be people who will try to tell you you know not to do this or that you know it's a bad idea or don't do that come do this or you know you might have plans this weekend already of things that you want to do and people want to like try to throw wrenches in it like or rain on your parade like you know just Smile, 
bow and smile grace like bow out gracefully and just smile at their ass like whatever like i know what you're doing like just understand and know people's energy like um I, I do feel like people will try to trigger you okay so for saturday's energy we have to bring the love into the situation nothing will come out of <clears throat> out of this situation okay yeah nothing will come out of the situation somebody mad <laughs> That I'm saying that, but whatever. So, Divine Holy Spirit, what do we have here? What messages do we have for Saturday, November 6th? Thank you. First card out, February. What I say? Aquarius, healing energy. Pisces energy as well, okay? West Indy, so you could be of West Indian descent. Somebody else can be. Hell, you might even want to go and have that type of food this weekend. Some of you guys could be wanting to make travel plans to go to, you know, a West Indies island, you know, for the winter or you know because it's cold as hell where i'm at right now like it's cold we in like 40s okay <laughs> 50s like it's cold up here um in new england but um some of you guys could be wanting to plan a trip for february you know to go to an island where it's nice and warm you know oh look at the birdies um but uh yeah so do that if that's what you want to do yeah crown chakra you know what you want to do go on do that you might even be dealing with somebody of west indian descent who may have aquarius or pisces placements in their chart don't worry about like if this could be you this could be them let's see what else do we have here spirit for this energy for saturday yeah 2 30 baby won't you meet me by the bean somebody could be from chicago okay this person also could be sitting up thinking about you late at night could be wanting to make plans i just heard red eyes so somebody could be taking a late flight like truly okay yeah a year from now next year um november that's the month we're in now okay family energy harvesting scorpio sag energy black friday thanksgiving trying yeah i feel like a lot of you guys could be looking for deals trying to book flights um to go and travel you know to go to somewhere warm plan a vacation for you and your family okay or just even for yourself probably even going to visit family okay um somebody else you could have somebody who's doing some sort of and i just heard haitian voodoo so that's west indian guys come on let's not play like it's not over there but um harvesting energy somebody could be up harvesting your energy because you're healing they want some of your healing energy don't get caught up um some of you guys could possibly have a con fraud scammer somebody might be trying to embezzle from you um still from you okay pause on these people okay a pause on a situation i'm also picking up be careful where you're booking your sites at like everything that glitters ain't gold um all of it ain't that ain't good of a deal pause and reflect okay if the ship feel uncomfortable it's uncomfortable understand that tough times don't last tough people do and somebody needs okay go home roger i still own you in a wolf in sheep's clothing okay ig facebook twitter snap tiktok black planet yeah i said that black planet um somebody's a socialite or you're just on social media or somebody's on your social media so i feel like this is an energy so okay we do have a lot of you guys who are playing, especially with that pineapples energy. You want to go to an island, relax, sit, you know, go on a cruise, do the damn thing. Okay, live it up. Okay, a year from now, shit's going to look great. Um, for others of you, you could have somebody who is literally, like, stalking you. Okay, somebody who acts like they genuinely care for you. They don't. Could be an Aquarius, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Sagittarius type energy. I have some Earth energy out here. Okay, feeling more so on a Capricorn energy. But um, somebody who's very possessive, they're very sorry, they want to come back, they really want you to come back. But it's like, they're, they're only doing that because they they feel like they're losing ownership of you, which is really fucked up to say. Well, like, you know, how it's coming off, but it's like this person feels like, yeah, like they own you, pieces of you. And they could be like sitting up praying or just hoping and wishing that you come. They could be trying to set up a date or something for you to like, you know, come over or whatever. No, stay home. Don't somebody might want to come over. Look, ain't shit open at two thirty in the morning, but Waffle House and legs. All right, ain't nobody getting nothing. There. Look, if you ain't going to eat, you ain't about to come eat over here. That's what you need to tell them. You ain't, ain't no eating over here. Take your ass to Waffle House. All right, like uh, take your ass to a diner. Okay, there's a McDonald's that's still open that's twenty four hours, but your ass ain't about to be here. Okay. This person needs to go home. They watch you. So say if you're like you're going to go out because you could be a socialite. You could be going out, hanging out. And this person could be watching your every move. So if you're somebody who likes to post, you know, like your live videos or, you know, like your snaps and stuff. Be very careful with that, you know, today, Saturday or, you know, over the weekend. Because somebody is watching you, watching your every move and waiting to see when and where you're going to be at. So it's like you wondering, like, damn, I just got in the house at 2.30. Like, this person hitting me up. Like, yo, what you doing? Like, 
you just posted your last video, you know, that, you know, you and your girls probably outside leaving, you know, uh, a club or, you know, a, a gathering or something. And this person sees that. So it ain't like, oh, um, I just thought about, you know, they watching your ass. OK, um, this person, they ain't no good. They're not any good. OK, this person is a wolf in sheep clothing. They feel like they own you. Tell me more about this con energy, divine Holy Spirit, please. And thank you. Yeah, okay. 333, three, three. yeah. Getting balanced, getting aligned with this energy. Hot and the masters, the sending masters, okay? Know that your angels are around and protecting you, but sacrifice. Yeah, this person wants to sacrifice your energy. We got Capricorn. Like I said, I felt Capricorn energy, but that's also devil activity, okay? Every time you call, she's never home. You deserve so much more. I can treat you better. You don't got to go home. But Roger needs to go home. They want to come to your house and they can see that you know, you're by yourself. Like, this is, like, literally, I'm feeling like some of you guys could be being watched where somebody is, like, trying to track your every move. So do shit a little different. Travel a little different. You know, take a different turn down the roads, down the streets. Hell yeah. Okay. And I, look, I just got confirmation on a whole nother level. Take a different road, you know, a different route. Do shit a little bit different this weekend. Don't be in your normal routine. Take that invitation to that new place that you don't want to go to, um, whatever. Just do something different, you know, to throw off. Because somebody, more or less, is kind of watching you, and it's because they're, they, they're after you, okay? Yeah, please don't take me for granted. I can't afford the damage. Somebody who definitely took you for granted, but they need to understand that whatever it is that they're trying to do, the sacrificing work, um, I mean, with sacrifice and devil activity, Capricorn activity, like, literally somebody could be trying to, like, blood sacrifice you or doing, like, some sort of ritualistic activities, okay, at this 2.30 hour. And, you know, whatever they're doing is not going to work. Yeah, 444, next card, you're protected. Understand that, okay? And do not give them your energy because that's what they need. Yeah, this person, um, they could be talking to your friends, your family, trying to act like they're still down or whatever. Or, you know, just to get information, okay? But I feel like you need to tell your folks, do not fuck with them. They are not the father. They are not my person. They are, we're not cool. Like, I don't twerk with that energy, okay? Because, yeah, somebody could be trying to get in close with your mama or your dad or whatever. Um, it could be a Gemini or a Taurus, somebody whose birthday is in May. This also could just be you, Collective, because you're in your Empress or your Emperor energy or whatever. Like, somebody wants to come through. Um, it could be somebody you co-parent with, and this is somebody who really just wants to try to keep control over your life. Like I said, they feel like they still own you, all right? Let's look into... That is the West Indies. Okay. <laughs> we have investigator, private investigator, FBI type situation, CIA. Somebody could be being investigated. Um, It could be something going on in the West Indies, one of those islands where, oh, geez, where'd that come from? <laughs> one of those islands where they're investigating something that could be going down, could be a crime or something that is linked to the islands here. Okay. Yeah. With the high priest is possibly doing some work here. Yeah. They got blocks. All right. Trying to copy you or um, yeah, somebody. OK, so some what, let me see. Horseshit liar manipulator is happy hour, five o'clock somewhere. Yeah. Black and white. It's clear as day. OK. And somebody was a foolish dreamer. OK, so what I'm already picking up with the energy here of this, somebody could have went and paid a practitioner. OK, somebody who's West Indian. Like I said, I heard Haitian voodoo. Um, but I feel like the priest or the magician or something, whatever happened, it got blocked. I feel like it was seen that this person was lying and there was no way around it. Like there was no confusion here that whoever went and tried to pay somebody to do work on you, that they were lying. And that um, they were probably trying to give your story to somebody else here. Um, but I feel like the practitioner could have seen that this person was being a foolish dreamer. They looked in and they seen what the fuck was going on and seen that this person... Um, it's like drunk activity, like loose off the goose. Crazy as fuck trying to do this shit. Yeah, Taurus energy. Okay, that Taurus is back around. Somebody who's very stubborn, who wants to be like the defined feminine energy, okay? Yeah, they could have been doing this since the summer, all right? Because this person, like I said, yeah, they got low self-esteem, okay? They doubt themselves. And you could have also cut this person off. This person has an addiction, could be a porn. Um, this person could be a pervert, you know, constantly watching you, peeping time. Like I said, stalker's energy. Um, or like I said, they did, they're addicted to you and your energy, and they went and tried to lie about you to get work done on you. And I feel like the practitioner has seen it. Yeah, the initial C-I-O-U, first, middle, last name, as well as street address, or a city, um, the numbers four, five, six, nine could be significant here, but yeah, purple rain. They wanted to leave you out in the cold. Those initials could be yours or theirs, but they wanted to leave you out in the cold with the purple rain. But 
Yeah, they said it wasn't them. It was them. They're guilty as fuck, okay? And I feel like there's an investigation that's now going on around this because it could have caused some, like, serious trouble here. Very, very much so serious trouble here. Okay? Yeah, the train's going off. Very much so. Tell me about this wolf in sheep's clothing. Yeah, this is somebody who stalks the shit out of you. They could be bipolar. The initials A, G, M as in Mary, S as in Sam. First, middle, last name, uh, street name, city name. Could be yours or theirs. The numbers 0, 3, and 9 are of significance. But this person is wolf in sheep's clothing. They're very much so a stalker. Like I said, they're watching your every move. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. You got to change up the game. Do things a little different. Hell, don't even tell people when and where you're going. Just pop the fuck up. You get what I'm saying? Because, baby, ain't nobody got time. Okay, not yesterday, not today, not tomorrow. Not at all. Some of you guys could be light workers or energy healers. And you're very, very much successful. Okay, or... You know, chariot energy could be done with a cancer. Also, that July energy could be Leo. And, okay, the summer turns in the fall. So, it's a song called July by Janae Aiko. And it's like, um, the seasons change. So, you know, we're in fall now. The seasons has changed. You are elevating. This person is still watching you. Okay, like I said, something could have happened in the summer. This could be that same energy who went to go get work done on you. But understand that God got you. Okay? This person is very childish. They probably even got children and damn selves. And they feel like they're untouchable. Okay? Yeah, doppelganger energy. Twin flame. Destined. Mirror mirror effect somebody who could want a twin flame it could be a karmic twin flame situation or you know with that mirroring effect i heard mirror mirror on a wall so this is somebody like i said who's trying to copy your energy who wants your energy who could want your twin flame or whatever okay trying to block you from this connection we're actually going to pick up all this energy okay some of it wants to resurface for sunday and we're just going to pull our lessons cards here Peace. Yeah, peace be still. Okay. Somebody wants to see you alone, but it's all good. You move alone because you are more successful. And this person feels bad. Somebody feels bad as fuck and they're worried as shit because you're still doing a damn thing. They want to bring adversity towards you because you are accepting of your life. You are content. You are okay. You are grateful for what it is you have and what you're going through. Yeah, patience, first card out, Sagittarius energy. But I accept that everything happens in divine order. Love. I'm committed to the the practice of seeing the good in all things all right so very much so libra taurus i'm very venusian energy here but it's like you understand that good things come to those who wait all right um you put in the work like i said bringing love into the situation and you've been patient working with yourself okay yeah failure nothing will like i said nothing to come out of whatever anybody's trying to do to you especially this weekend they will fail and I also feel like somebody wanted to see you fail somebody wanted to see you alone not loved by anyone and that's family, friends, a lover, the people you work with, your own children. Like somebody really wanted you isolated to the point that, you know, you felt like nothing would come out of you or like you were no good. Okay, this is failing energy. Okay, yeah, service because of what it is that you do, how you provide, how you care. Okay, more lessons cards here, please. Judgment. Yeah, their ass is about to face judgment real quick. Karma's about to hit their ass fast as hell. We're in Scorpio season. I don't know why people want to play these games. Scorpio is Mars energy. It's the damn tower. I don't know why people want to play these games. It's death energy, all right? The rebirth, the phoenix, all right? But I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. Yeah, what happiness. Somebody wanted to judge your happiness. Somebody wants to take your happiness away. But there are changes here, yes, as the next card out with guilt. Somebody's going to feel real bad about this shit, okay? Yeah, because you're still going to be successful. Who they was trying to deny this here could be a Leo with this courage energy and honesty, okay? Libra energy, the truth, justice here. Change, I'm seeing two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, okay? Whatever somebody was trying to do to stop and block you, it's like, I feel like you being real with yourself and not limiting yourself, yeah, growth underneath the deck. This is what somebody is afraid of. Yeah, balance underneath that, okay? Libra energy. This is justice. Somebody is also is receiving justice. Karmically, um, legally, it don't matter. Justice is going to be served, especially if somebody tries to fuck with you this weekend, more so today, Saturday. So, let's move into Sunday's energy here. 20 minutes in. All right, Divine Holy Spirit. Yeah, there's dark spirits. So, okay. I might have mentioned this yesterday, but um, 
yeah, you need to put some stones underneath your pillow or a dream catcher. Like, I don't know if how you feel about sleeping with candles, light a white candle, a prayer for peace and protection. But if you feel like somebody out here on some fuck shit, listen to your heart. They're not fuck shit, okay? A lot of you guys have a lot of plans and things that you want to do. Focus on those things, okay? I feel like, you know, the end of November going into December is going to be a very um, important time, okay? As far as things finding it, like, completely unraveling and coming to full circle and coming together as we go into Sag season. Yeah, so get in the studio and make it happen collective. So, Divine Holy Spirit, what do we have here for Sunday? First card that flew out. Again, it's 2.30. Baby, won't you meet me by the bean? Okay. Again, somebody up trying to um, astral project, going to your dreams, trying to alter your, your plans. That's why it says your dreams need a practical plan. You need to meditate and contemplate. If you know exactly what it is that you want to do, you need to stay focused on that. There could be somebody who's trying to project nasty energy on you while you're asleep. Yeah, Libra energy underneath the deck here. Understand justice will be served, okay? This is a lawyer, a judge, the jury. Know your rights, okay? Balance the scales here. Or you could just literally be a Libra or dealing with Libra energy, okay? Yeah, victim mentality. Somebody who has their own fear of flying. Somebody who's hesitant in their own life. They don't want to see you move forward. They're trying to instill that within you. So that's why you need to write. Spend Sunday writing your stuff down because somebody got all the time in the world to make you feel like shit or try to. Yeah, vacation. Vacation underneath. Some of you guys do need to get away. Go Get away from your normal environment. Like, even if you just hop in your car and go park in a parking lot or something like that. Or shit, go sit in your car in your driveway or in your parking lot. Your apart like, if you're in a complex or something. But don't be where you're always at so that you can channel and get things more clear. Because it could be energy. Or you probably just really need to cleanse your space. Okay? Yeah, the person who could be doing this is a thought, okay? He or she is down for whatever. They'll they'll constantly be doing the fuck shit, okay? Maybe, baby, this person could be pregnant, all right? Um, understand that um, I thought I had it all. That was until I met you. I know, love, you're a blessing. Speak up, native home team energy, okay? I will die for you. We live and we die by the love, okay? So, a lot of you guys got a hoe or somebody who thinks you're a hoe, whatever, um, somebody who want to come back, somebody who realized, somebody who could have cheated on you. They realize that, you know, you're the one, you're the originator, you're the home team. Okay. I just heard Jordan. So psh, Steph Curry with the pot, like you're, you it, you going into the hall of fame, you go in the hall of fame. Like the love that you provide is worth it. Like you're a blessing. You know how to care. Your heart chakra is open. You're giving. Okay. You are somebody who can make shit happen with this, with these plans and your your ability with your dreams, you know, to manifest. I feel like somebody could want to come in and speak up to you here. <sighs> Jesus Christ. We'll look into this, too. I feel like it's a whole different thing. Hell to the year. It is. And that's what balances things out. So somebody could be going to jail. Could be a Virgo energy here. We got hard time. Orange is the new black. Guilty. Okay. Bitch, it was you, okay? Five to ten, Penn State or State Penn, take your choice. This person is choosing, it seems like, the State Penn, though. Um, we got Virgo energy here, somebody who could have been ghosted or you ghosted them, somebody who could need a health checkup, okay? But we got All Rise Court and 222, so this is literally balancing things out. Justice is going to be served. If you're a Virgo or you're dealing with a Virgo, that that ass, somebody going to jail, damn it, okay? The answer is right underneath your nose. It is this third-party energy. Yeah, with jail time, they're going to jail. X Factor by Lauren Hill, okay? This person has very much low self-esteem. They've probably been fucking with you since the summer because they're stubborn as shit, okay? They could be dealing with a, working with a Taurus or whatever or wanting your divine feminine energy or your divine masculine energy, okay? This person is a foolish dreamer. They feel like they can come and they can take from you, take your energy. But blank card, nothing will happen. And now this person is scrambling here and trying to figure out how to still fuck you up, okay? They're doing 80 and a 60, fuck it. Fuck a ticket, okay? I feel like this person could be still trying to move towards you quickly with their ill intent. But again, we got jail time and we have court all rise and orders the new black, okay? This person, whatever, they might get pulled over. <clears throat> Okay. Somebody could be getting pulled over and find out that they have a warrant out for their arrest. So be very, very careful here, okay? Understand that the best things in life are free collective, and I feel like you know that. You're being divinely guided by a Libra or to justice here because somebody 
is on some fuck drinking sleep shit. They're a zombie, okay? They pop the molly, they sweating. Woo! Okay? Somebody also could be trying to drug you. So be careful while you're drinking and out or whatever with the vacation, vacation energy. Be very, very careful when you're out drinking, partying, having a good time. You guys could get pulled over and get a DUI. I see that too. So let's look into this hard time, all this jail energy, this person going to jail. They're doing something that that they shouldn't do, okay? Yeah, and we are talking about the dreams. So, initials, D, J, P, V, first, middle, last, name, street address, as well as city. This could be yours, this could be theirs. Oh, I didn't even see that. The number is four, seven, and eight. Oh, shit. <coughs> Ooh, sorry, guys. Excuse me. But understand and know that it's been going on and you're the last to know, okay? This could be your initials, it could be theirs, but know that whatever's been going on, you're the last to know. Somebody's been finger-fucking in the park, okay? Biggie could be from New York, but doing some wild-ass shit, all right? Understand that you are protected, blessed, and highly favored, collect, especially when it comes to the things that you are working on, with your solar, solar chakra, okay? Eight of Pentacles energy, you've been busy as hell. Following your, um, listening to your gut, doing exactly what it is that you need to do, getting up and keeping yourself balanced. Somebody is focused on you while you're focused on you. So somebody obviously is focused on the wrong thing, right? And this person is doing black magic, trying to hex or curse you. And again, guys, black magic could literally be paying a practitioner or it could be, you know, sending an evil eye, project, projecting energy, um... Anything of low vibe type energy here, um, staring at your pictures, gossiping, spreading lies, rumors, um, could be that thought, the hoe out here, yeah, that hoe out here, okay, could be, you know, trying to sleep with your person, male or female, don't matter, but somebody who's literally trying to ruin your life, like, I just, when I think of black magic and, or trying to hex a curse, um, especially the black magic element. It's like somebody who literally just wants to ruin your fucking life. Like somebody could be a walking fucking curse them goddamn self. You get what I'm saying? Like, damn you. But um, somebody could be a walking curse themselves, okay? But understand, go best friend. That's my best friend. Like, um, it could be them and a group of friends, all right? And they're just like, ooh, we so proud of you. And it's like, no, do not encourage people to do no fuck shit, no dumb shit. Understand the universal laws of karma. Know that God sees all. And what, it, what you dish out, I hope you can take back in. Because if you go up against a ch child of God, a chosen one, do know that they are very much, what I said, protected, blessed, and highly favored, okay? And you wilding this shit. And granted, this person may be the last one to know or whatever because it's been going on. Your time is coming. And I hope collective if you're on the good side of this that you got your popcorn ready okay yeah so we have an earth angel here you could be an earth angel or this could be an earth sign or you could be an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn here but these hoes ain't loyal okay first 48 and mind you we got best friends so earth sign earth energy you, your friends ain't loyal they're gonna snitch on your ass okay we got marriage and union here, for better or for worse, till death do us part. You started with a canvas and we turned into some art here, all right? A lot of you guys have some good unions coming forward, coming through, all right? Something that's going to happen. You need to make it happen, get in the studio, okay? Also, this could be somebody who has a tie with you, okay? Especially with this Clint Sage, Palo Santo or something. You probably need to get certain connections out of your life, okay? Earth angels, earth signs, possibly. You could have... Friends who ain't your friends, okay? Your own friends could be going against you and doing some sort of sorcery against you, okay? Yeah, we got winter. You need to cut that bitch off. Cut them people off, okay? You got kids out here but still kidding around. Grow up, yeah. And a far spiritualist. Like I said, this is all going back to that black magic shit, okay? Stay focused on you, collective. You know, follow your dreams, okay? Your dreams need a practical plan, all right? So keep following them, doing what you got to do. Let's look into this black magic, this hex. What you need to cleanse here. Let's see. Divine Holy Spirit. All of that. So, yep, yeah, October. Okay, Libra Scorpio energy, but Halloween. Something could have took place on Halloween. Somebody was out here definitely doing some bullshit. And it's probably your ex's ex, okay? Hating ass dude or chick, whatever. Um, This person could drink a lot, okay? Um, It's 5 o'clock somewhere to them all the damn time. But this person is very lonely and miserable, and they could be have a drinking problem or overindulge in something that is very low vibe. And, yes, I'm going to use the word toxic, okay? We have karmic feminine energy out here mind you we all have masculine feminine energy so this could be literally a woman or this could be a bitch made dude all right but understand that you are a diva um 
you're confident, you're a boss, you got the bag, you got titles and these, you got your shit in order. Yeah, with that Aries energy, okay? You taking charge, okay? That's emperor energy. You could be dealing with the Aries, you could have Aries in your chart, whatever. But you're feisty, you're fierce, and this is what this person knows. Yeah, a year from now, your shit's gonna come up, okay? You block this person. This person's been copying you. Now, when I see this a year from now, either it's gonna come out a year from now, or you're gonna see how much this person's been trying to copy your energy. But I feel like you already blocked them out because you knew that this person was a liar. I feel like everybody else knows this person is a liar and they got blocked out. Um, it might not come and reach your ear until a year from now about this energy who's been doing fuck shit, okay? But I do feel that um, this person could have been doing this for a long time trying to copy your energy. And they've reached a point now where they're just like, shit, there's nothing I can do. Yeah, it's black and white. It's clear as day. There's nothing I can do because collective knows or people know what this crown chakra, what the fuck is going on. Okay, I feel like somebody could have tried to do some shit around Halloween or in the month of October. And it's just like, yeah, whatever, bitch, try again. Okay? Very much so. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it was like full moon and the Aries too. And we got that Aries here. All right? So, let's pick these up and we'll close out with some inner peace. Sunday's message is a little bit shorter than Saturday's, but the overall message for the weekend is karma, <laughs> motherfucker. Enjoy yourselves. Don't let people get to y'all. Straight up. Let's see. Yeah, Leo, just have the strength. Within a month, like I said, things will get better. All right, somebody's dreaming of you, okay? Know that tough times don't last, tough people do. Somebody is trying to destroy you, but it's 10-10, it's an end. Like I said, somebody's behind your bushes, 911, and you might have to get a restraining order or call the cops on somebody because they don't know when to quit, all right? Somebody could have been doing some fuck shit since July, or it's like if you don't stop them, they'll keep doing the shit till next summer, trying to ruin you out, okay? So let's get this inner peace here, Divine Holy Spirits. What do we have? Thank you. Oh, I just said that, too. Get your sweet ass outside. I said get away from your normal environment, didn't I, guys? I did. Y'all know I did. You do some channeling, some meditating, contemplating, getting your shit together. But peace, it starts with releasing the bullshit, okay? Take a deep breath and let your fucks go. But get your sweet ass outside. Live in the sunshine. Swim the sea. Drink the wild air. Bundle up if you're in New England because it's cold as shit up here. <laughs> Tame the shit show by finding calm in the chaos. One word, meditate, okay? Take a hint from a sloth, okay? Slow the fuck down. It's the weekend. It's the freaking weekend. And pencil it into your schedule, the power of serenity, now. And that, like I said, write your shit down. Get your shit together, okay? Take different routes. Meditate, whatever. Spend time to yourself. Really rest and rejuvenate here because you know where you're going in life. You know what you're doing. You know what your goals are. You don't got to tell nobody shit. Like, don't say shit until it's done. Then show everybody when it's done and it's established because people will project and try to um, kill it. Seriously, okay? Yeah, so, yeah, and they need to get that shit up because there's better shit on the horizon. Seriously. Now, whoever cross-watcher, it's not all about you. It's not, okay? Find your own path. Seriously. That's what Spirit said, all right? Embrace your own little tiny Buddha. And last message, the truth will set you free, but first it will piss you off. And if you're upset, sorry, not sorry. Okay? <laughs> so, collective, yes, that has been your message for the weekend. Stay tuned for the monthlies and our dailies. And until the next time we speak, peace out.